Hello, it's Markham Torch here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be creating an isometric scene using this modular level design that I've created. If you're liking this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and please hit the like button, leave a comment. It really helps me out, really makes this channel grow, and it just helps me build better content. This modular level design here will be available on Gumroad for only $3. Only $3. Um, so now let's build this environment and I'll just do a time lapse of it and then after that we will set up the scene. All right, so at the moment we've constructed this and because we're going for, for the isometric look, I haven't infilled this area. Uh, we've got some doors here, as we can see. Um, now let's set up the camera. I'm going to put it right on this corner here. Actually, it doesn't matter where I put it. I'm gonna do Shift A, add in a camera. Now the camera will be uh, facing whichever way direction I added it. So I'm going to do Alt R, Alt G to reset it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rotate the camera on the Z axis by 45 degrees, uh, minus 45 degrees, because that's the way I want to see it. And then I'm going to rotate it on the X axis of the normal of the camera. So I'm going to press X and then press X again and press 60 degrees. So if we come into here-ish, let's have a look. What have we got? Zero, GZ. That's not really helpful. So what we've got to do is we've got to go into um, the type of the camera and change this into orthographic. And then we can scale it up. And let's just move this into position. Let me just turn off that snapping that I originally had on. And for now, if I go into, am I in Eevee is the question. Sure, I'm in Eevee. Uh, let's turn on that. We don't really see anything. If I turn on Bloom, we've got the Bloom from the doors, but everything else is a bit bland. So the other thing that we need to do is add in some lights. Now, because I know that there's, you know, in my design, 
is that there's lights from above. I am going to shift A, add in a light, and let's go, should we go area light? GZ, yikes, that's a bit bright, isn't it? So let's bring that down. Go into the light, power, maybe two. There we go. And I'm going to fixate it right on the corner there of those four. Shifty. Mm. Let's go like this. Put one here. GY, then we'll put one over here. And there we go. How does that look now? So that kind of looks cool. We got a lot more lighting coming through. Um, I think what I might do is turn down the base material of, what do we got here? The steel. So let's turn that down. So if I come into composition, we've got our steel selected and let's work this out. Base color is that. Let's turn up the roughness. Turn up the roughness. And let's just turn that metallic down a little bit. How's that looking? That's looking a bit better. I just want to check which color are we looking at. The wrong color. The wrong material. So let's come back to here. Let's select our material. Carbon is our material. So the black we want to be a little bit more, have a bit more roughness. Let's add some roughness to this one as well, but this is our main color. So let's turn down the specularity, put in our roughness a bit more. And that's how I like it. Let's, so if we come back into here, um, let's change our world color to black. Oh, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> and so there you have it. That's how we make an isometric level. So remember this modular level is available in Gumroad for $3. Also make sure you hit the like, subscribe button, the like button, the comment button, leave a comment, everything, help me out. It'll be great.